welcome you back to In Focus. Sudan's leaders are working on resolving political issues ahead of January's referendum on South Sudan's independence. Meanwhile, a group of Sudanese artists are using their talents to strengthen relationships. VOA's Kimberly Russell has more. Just six months ahead of the vote, the Sudan United Group is attempting to strengthen their relationships through music and art. The artwork includes a mural of the late John Garang, leader of Sudan People's Liberation Movement. A leader of the organization explains what they are trying to accomplish. Sudan United, Sudan United Group is a cultural group aimed at promoting unity. This means achieving our goals by using the arts as a tool to talk about the diversity that exists in Sudan rather than taking to the streets to address the citizens. As crowds gather to watch performances, Ahmed Abbas offers his opinion on whether next year's vote should take place. Let them stop food and water and achieve unity for us. Charles James is a performer with Sudan United who wants everyone to come together. As for Sudan, unity or secession, my message as an artist to all artists is that they should call for beauty. Art is from God. I'm not against unity. I'm pro-unity. At the same time, I do not want to take others' rights. I'm also against secession. But as an artist, I call for unity, and my message is for unity. Sudan's northern and southern leaders are working to resolve issues that include citizenship of their populations and the division of oil revenues. Most of Sudan's oil comes from the south, but relies on northern pipelines to funnel it to the Red Sea. Human rights groups and political analysts say that both sides must resolve these and other issues before next year's referendum or risk a return of a north-south conflict. Kimberly Russell, VOA News.